hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so in the previous videos related to digital electronics we discussed uh, some problems questions on uh, three variable k map uh, and i think uh, we discussed around uh, nine questions nine to ten questions so now uh, we will be discussing questions on four variable k maps so similarly we will be discussing uh, a lot of questions related to four variable k maps so mainly uh, the questions that come in exam they revolve around three and four variable k maps two variable k maps are very simple and five uh, variable and more than they become very lengthy so mainly you will be finding questions problems related to three and four variable k maps okay so here we have uh, is a problem a boolean expression which is given in this way and we have to simplify it okay this is the format of the four variable k map i have already uh, made it ready to save time i have already told you how to draw uh, k maps for three variables four variables what is the significance of each cell what does each cell represent in terms of boolean terms so everything i have discussed in the previous videos so i would recommend you to please watch the previous videos related to carnot map basics grouping of cells mapping of boolean expression into k maps all the problems related to three variable k map and then come to this video okay so this is the format of the four variable k map we have with us this is the boolean expression here we have the boolean expression given as a bar b bar c bar d a bar b b bar c d a bar b c bar d a bar b c d a b bar c bar d a b bar c d a b c bar d and a b c d so it's a lengthy expression so i've already told you in the three variable k maps that whenever we have an expression boolean expression given find out what type of expression is it you can see it is in sop form sum of products form these are all product terms or min terms and they are added together or uh, or together so sum of products form so sop k map is applicable for it now always represent them in terms of min terms okay like this so that it becomes easier for marking the respective cells see each cell is marked with its equivalent decimal representation okay so 0 to 15 with four variables maximum decimal representation is 15 so 0 to 15 and always pay attention to this this uh, horizontal and this uh, this vertical and this horizontal horizontal section 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 okay it's not 1 0 and then 1 1 it is first 1 1 then 1 0 here also it is first 1 1 then 1 0 okay so here the min term representation is this a bar b bar c bar d is 0 0 0 1 each complemented variable represents 0 in sop and each uncomplemented variable it represents 1 okay each complemented variable it represents 0 each uncomplemented variable is represents 1 so a bar b bar c bar d is actually 0 0 0 1 which is decimal 1 similarly a bar b bar c d is 0 0 1 1 okay this is 3 likewise we will be finding out so this is 1 this is 3 this is uh, 5 
this is 7 1 1 1 last 7 this is 8 plus 1 9 this is uh, 8 then 11 this is 8 then 13 okay this is 13 and this is finally 15 so the min term representation is this 1 3 5 7 9 11 13 and 15 okay now we have to mark the respective cells as one because it is SOP K1 K map and in SOP K map each function it stands for one the function and POS it is zero we already know that in SOP and POS basics we have discussed you can check it out in the digital electronics playlist so here we have to mark the respective cells as 1. So 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15. Okay. So this is the marking of cells which is done. Now we have to form groups. Now I have already discussed in the group formation video that whenever you form a group in a K map it should follow the 2 to the power n rule okay each group can contain 2 to the power n cells adjacent cells then second rule is maximum number of cells should be accommodated in each group third rule minimum number of groups should be formed fourth rule never leave any marked cell behind so here uh, the number of cells can be 1 for n equals to 0 2 for n equals to 1 4 for n equals to 2 8 for n equals to 3 16 for n equals to 4 and so on so here we can see these cells are all adjacent and the number of cells adjacent cells are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, this. So we can form an octet here, this, this, okay. So we have formed one group which accommodates all the marked cells and it follows this rule. Minimum number of group, only one group is required. All the marked cells are accommodated, yes. And also it follows the membership, the cell membership rule. That is the number of cells, marked cells that can be accommodated is 8. So now grouping is done. Now we have to find the common variables, this simplified expression. So in the three variable K map, uh, like we did, we have to identify the common variables from the horizontal side and the vertical side for this group okay so let us do that so if i redraw this group here okay please pay attention 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 this group here let me write all the horizontal variables a bar b bar a bar b a b a b bar and the vertical variables that are involved c bar d and c d c bar d and c d so now we have to identify the common variables so here in the horizontal side do you find any variable which is common in all of these horizontal se sections this section it is a b bar here it is a b here it is a bar b here it is a bar b bar 
so everything is changing that is no, there is nothing fixed in the horizontal side here it is a b bar so okay a b bar here a b up to this point a is common up to this point a is common b is getting changed in this section again we are getting a complement b so again a is changing we are getting the same b again here a complement b complement so everything is changing there is nothing fixed in the horizontal side so in the horizontal side there is nothing no common variable for this group now the vertical side here it is c complement d here it is c d so c is changing c complement to c but d is fixed so here d is the only common variable in both the horizontal and vertical side in the horizontal side we have nothing common in the vertical side we have d common so the simplified boolean expression for this is f is equal to d f is equal to d that is the simplified boolean expression see such a big lengthy expression which would have taken lot of time to simplify using the basic rules of uh, you know some boolean uh, reduction method we got it in a matter of few minutes the simplified boolean expression as t okay so all here is first have the format of k map ready form the groups as per the rules of group formation identify the common variables that is a tricky part and then you will get the simplified boolean expression okay this is the simplified boolean expression f is equal to 